Well, I had just woken up and I thought for sure that we were going to have a game canceled and couldn't get across. Glen Lake players and coaches prepared for the worst. The Mackinac Bridge was closed and traffic was backed up for miles. The team was capping off a three hour road trip to take on St. Ignace. So, uh, you know, St. Ignace has always been a community of very helpful people. And Rather than canceling the game, a community full of Saints spirit wanted the game to go on. St. Ignace football coach Marty Spencer got an idea from the band director who knew the perfect call. He said there's a football team stuck in Mackinac City. We need to get them over here. I said, not a problem. I think it was a pretty good experience. I think one thing, the great thing about it is we are the Lakers, so what a better way than to arrive on a, at a game on a boat. Glen Lake loaded onto an Arnold Line ferry from Mackinac City, stopped on the island, and made it to St. Ignace the old fashioned way amid more than 10 foot swells. Glen Lake coach Jerry Anger says it was almost symbolic boating into St. Ignace and unloading onto land. I think the kids were, were more fired up about it. Uh, they, had a, they went in as a private Ryan. They're gonna, they were storming the beach in Normandy and they were going to see what they could do for it. So the varsity game got started about an hour and a half late, but if you went to the game, you would have got your money's worth. The Lakers score first in a battle of defense. The Saints would strike back. Glen Lake would take the lead again, but with a minute and 30 seconds left, the Saints scored and capped it off with an extra point, winning what may now be known as the Battle of the Bridge by one, 14 to 13 over the Lakers. It could be a long time before a battle like this happens again, considering. Before the bridge was built, it was probably the last time, so. Yeah. Well, this instance is likely a reminder of the importance of the bridge that connects the lower peninsula to the upper peninsula. Some of us may take it for granted, but community sport helped make that football game happen last Friday, and it's definitely going to be a memory that both teams will have for a very long time. In St. Ignace, I'm Andrew Keller, 7 and 4 News.